Hello everybody, and welcome! This past year, I have made a lot of city-related builds. You can tell that they were made in the past year because I craftily put 2019 in the titles, just in case I got confused. I actually made so many city builds that I was inspired to make an entire city out of them. Welcome to Stream City. This is a work in progress, and I will admit that I haven't streamed in a little while, and I keep getting these questions, so I wanted to address it. Yes, Stream City will be returning this year. It will return when I finally get my order from McDonald's. Which may be a while, as I don't think anybody even works here. I'm virtually bubbling with excitement to show you this video. So, as you guys may know, I built all of my city-related tutorials in one world. Basically, in a big, giant, long row like this. It's actually a little bit troublesome, because to start this video, I kind of have to go all the way back. These are all built pretty much chronologically, basically, in the order that they were posted, so it's actually going to be a cool little time capsule as well to recap the year. So I'm just, I'm going to have to get my flash boots on. Oh yeah, these all do. And let's take a stroll down memory lane. <laughs> By the way, this looks terrifying. <laughs> like, dum, 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 dum. And one last talking point just before we get this start, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that you guys want me to begin this tour. Every single one of these builds, every single one of the builds has a tutorial. So if you want a closer look at absolutely any of these, check out the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section for the City Builds playlist. It will show you how to make absolutely everything in great detail, including the insides. Everything you see is everything that you will get out of the actual tutorial videos. And of course, Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of my future videos, including my city build sent directly to your sub boxes. But now that we've got all that out of the way, let's get this extremely long tour started. So my first city build of the year was actually Subway. I have made a lot of city builds in the past. I've actually made an old Subway in the past, but my entire point of making all of these city builds this year was to make them all to a particular scale so you could actually make a nice, functioning, good-looking city out of them. And that is why I decided to make them all to a particular size, and that's why I wanted to do interiors for all of them. And this is one of the more basic buildings that I actually made this year. Uh, on Stream City, I actually show you how to make an interior that looks a little bit better than that, but um, it's actually a pretty solid build. I really like the outside, and it's it's very realistic as well. Like, it, you might have a subway which actually does kind of look like that one. Moving on to the second build of the year, we have Starbucks. I tried my best to find a Starbucks banner, you know, where it's like the the lady with the the crown and the coffee and that. That's about as close as I could get. Skeletal Starbucks woman. Um, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Alternatively, you can just use banners to actually write Starbucks on your actual building. But this is also kind of a more realistic looking build that would fit into your cities. I like this interior a little bit more as well. It feels quite nice and calming and uh, very much like uh, an actual Starbucks on the inside. It's very chilled out inside here and there's really not too much more to see actually. We do have some outdoor seating too with um, some of those like funky uh, parasols slash umbrellas that kind of like guard you from the sun and the rain, but that's Starbucks. Here we have KFC. KFC is similar to Starbucks in building shape, and I'm not entirely sure why, but I think it's a pretty decent looking KFC. This one has a drive through as well. We have some chicken on the side. It sells fried, <laughs> fried chicken, do you believe? Who could have guessed that KFC would have some fried chicken? We have the drive through window as well. If we move on to the inside, we've got a nice little interior too. Very, very color inspired inside here. Very, very white and red. I love it. As we move out of KFC, 
we have a Burger King as well. And don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just all fast food. It's just that uh, it's it, fast food is kind of like some of my favorite things to build. Um, mainly it's because it's one of my favorite things. And uh, <laughs> build what you know. And uh, that's why we have a lot of fast food buildings. But we do diversify rather quickly as we do move down the line, trust me. But we have another drive through I'm actually quite happy with the design of the building. I think it's very, very different in comparison to a lot of the other uh, fast food restaurants. Got a very colourful interior, as I like to make them. Uh, very kind of like standard functional interior. I'm pretty happy with the inside of Burger King as well. Um, next up, we have ourselves a Pizza Hut. One of my most favourite designed uh, actual buildings, by the way. It's a little bit big. Um, but, I mean, Pizza Huts usually are quite big buildings, I do find anyway. But um, I really do quite like uh, the design of the building. I think it's very, very different indeed. So, inside Pizza Hut, we kind of have loads of booths. We have a little salad bar over there as well and drinks machines. The kind of things that you'd expect to find inside of a Pizza Hut. Uh, as we move on out from Pizza Hut, we have a little cafe here. Uh, nice little cafe. It's actually two stories as well, which I like. I'm thinking about making another cafe out uh, of some different materials, because obviously cities would have more than just the one. Um, sells some baked goods, sells some drinks. We've got some uh, interior seating. Uh, moving upstairs, we have a little bit more as well. Uh, but what I really like about this place is whoops, is the fact that we have some outdoor seating as well, kind of like out on the balcony, which uh, I really do enjoy. Um, out of all of the classically sort of designed uh, builds, the fast food restaurants, McDonald's is probably the most iconic and the one that I like the most. The color schemes, the shape of the restaurant, the logo, I really do enjoy. This one is also, of course, uh, it's classically designed. It's, uh, it's, it's basically what you would see, you know, if you went back in time, a little time capsule. I, I've, I have found very few McDonald's actually even look like this anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But um, uh, it has a drive through and it has an inside and all of that. It has one of those fancy kind of like electronic ordering boards. And uh, it's also very, very easy to make, which is also a staple, by the way, of uh, all of my city builds. I try to make them as easy to build as possible while still looking good, hopefully. Uh, this is a music store. This this is kind of like a Minecraft inspired music store. It's kind of like a modern designed building, we're, but we also kind of have like the note block and the, with the, uh, not note block, the jukebox with the uh, record popping out the top. And I, I just think it's a really cool design build. Um, and we kind of have like a little chilled out area. We can buy all the records and note blocks and stuff in here. Um, I think it's a really, really cool music shop. It's obviously, it's kind of like, it's, it's not a music shop that you would see in the real world, probably. <laughs> Imagine if there was a music shop that just sold literally Minecraft music records. Um, might even exist, I don't know. And uh, hence why, I mean, you might not want to add it to your city, but I think it's a pretty clever design. Uh, so says me tooting my own horn. Um, here we have Taco Bell. Great looking build, I really like this. Anything that's really nice and colourful, I really enjoy. I believe that this is also a drive through as well. Yeah, look at this. I love the design of these things. I, I love the... I try to go for the classic design always. Um, I, I like... when Like, when I think of, like, McDonald's or KFC or Burger King or what have you, I don't think of, like, a, a modern designed build. I think of, like, the classic stereotypical designs. And that's, that's exactly what I like to go with. It's a little bit more nostalgic. So it's actually pretty big in here inside Taco Bell because I wanted to change the structure a little bit from some of the other past restaurants. And I think, hopefully, I did a de pretty decent job. Here we have a modern butcher's shop. Um, I like to try and blend some of the new, some of the old, so we have a butcher's shop here. Um, pretty interesting design, I think, using some nice colours. I, I want a city that is nice and colourful. I want it to look good, I want it to look interesting, I don't want it to all blending together. And here we have just kind of like a, a regular sort of butcher's shop. You'd speak to the butcher behind the counter, you know, hey, wh what meat would you like? And then, of course, you go, do you sell carrots? No. And then that's the end of the conversation right there. So that is a pretty nice looking modern butcher shop. Very easy to build. 
and uh, it actually goes with a few other buildings as well. Um, next up we have Wendy's. This is a modern version of Wendy's. Uh, I don't just like to build just classic stuff, so I tried my hand a little bit of a, a modern version. And I'm pretty happy with the result of it as well. It is also a little drive through That's why we just took a little bit of tour around. And uh, if we have a look on the inside as well, it's a pretty nice, clean, simple interior too. Uh, what else do we have down here? Oh, we have Domino's. This is kind of classic. Now, I will say in Britain, in England... Uh, I have never encountered a sit-in Domino's, but after doing some research, some googling, as it were, uh, I did find that uh, apparently you can sit in Domino's in, in America. It's, it's not that crazy to actually have a Domino's restaurant. Unheard of for me. It's only takeaway here, but whatever. So I kind of... Uh, I kind of made like a, a big sort of like open restaurant, pretty simple designs, very hard to actually find uh, most of the interiors for them, uh, for the real world buildings. But I think that the outside looks pretty good. I might have to make kind of just like a takeaway Domino's because, um, yeah, I, I don't know if we do literally have like a sit in Domino's anywhere. Again, never seen one, but maybe I should just make a takeaway version too. Um, here we just have like a, a little bit of a modern bakery. This is kind of like a, it's it's using kind of like older materials mixed with a little bit of modern, kind of um, akin to the butcher shop sort of. Um, inside here we kind of just have like a, a nice counter. We have some baked goods here and we just have some like a, a little seating area too. I really do like the modern bakery. It's, got, it's, it's kind of like got that cozy feel, but the outside is just a little bit modern. Hmm. Oh, here we have Chick-fil-A, chick filler. Chick we actually don't have these in Britain, uh, or we might just have one. Sometime, sometimes in my research, like when I get asked to make like American stuff and sometimes like Australian restaurants and all that, um, so I'd, I'm like, I've never heard of this place. Does it even exist? And it turns out that we have one, usually somewhere weird, like in, just randomly in Wales or Scotland. Like sometimes we might have one. We do not, to my knowledge, never seen one. We do not have a Chick-fil-A, but I understand that... Uh, Eating there is a religious experience. So, uh, just another drive through I think that the interior for this one is kind of is kind of nice too, as I remember. I think it's a little bit cozier than uh, some of the others. Yeah, yeah, I, I made the interior look a little bit more interesting. I think we kind of have like two, uh, two sides. Uh, very, very cozy. I like the lanterns. It's a little bit dimmer in here. I really do like it. So, uh, what do we have next? We have some car parking spaces too. Uh, oh, we have an ice cream parlor. Yes, and also comes with an ice cream truck. So the ice cream parlor is kind of like twofold, um, <laughs> kind of like an ice cream uh, walk up walk up mat. Um, you can order your ice creams here, just on the outside, and we can kind of like board it up too as well. So like it's it's either open or it's not, which I kind of like. Uh, we've got some of the ice cream flavors kind of like displayed on the left and right of us. We've got some ice cream kinds of. I love the design of this. Um, on the inside, you can come and get your scoops as well, and we have some kind of like faux ice cream machines. Uh, we have a little place to sit down and chill out. I forgot how much I love this. I I made this such a long time ago. It's such a... I, I really, really do like that. It needs to be added to Stream City. There's so many of these builds that haven't been yet. Um, here we have an ice cream truck. It's it's actually a little bit bigger than I like to make ice cream trucks. But... Uh, or as, as I make, tr make trucks in general, I should say. Um, but yeah, you can collect your ice cream from this little window here. It's kind of advertised a little bit. Uh, we can actually go inside, which is cool too. We can walk around. We can... Um, we can crack open, we can uh, get our ice cream from all of these chests that are kind of like multi, uh, multi-faceted. We have some different flavors here on this opposite side, and we even have like a little ice cream poking out of the top of the van. Uh, I really like that, and they of course go together. I love making stuff that goes I, I like making builds that are multi-parted, as you'll see. Like, I like making a particular build and, like, a vehicle that will go with it. Or something extra. You'll you'll see as we continue on. Um, here we have a GameStop, kind of classically, uh, classic designs. Very modern as well. There's something about this that I really do like. Uh, I really I really love the design of this place. And on the inside, I'm really quite happy with it, too. Um, it's kind of like, it's just kind of, like, got a nice feel. It's got some, like, interesting displays. We've got loads and loads of games. We've got some plush toys and stuff. We've got, like, manual if they even exist in magazines like it's it's just kind of like cool inside here I, I really like it uh, again I, I hate to use the word cozy but I don't because I like <clears throat> <clears throat> thank you I don't like to use the word cozy too often although I do because I like the word I like it it's kind of there's something about it it's nice and warm in there 
Okay, here we have a hotel. And this is what I mean by making builds that kind of like go like multi parts of builds. So I originally made just the outside of the hotel, the building. Um, we have a little sports car too, which I actually really like as well. And we kind of have the outside of the palm trees and stuff. And uh, oh, I should show you the inside. So the inside, um, we have a couple of different parts. So this is kind of like the lobby of the hotel. This is where you'd sign in and be like, um, <clears throat> Uh, the name is under Mr. MC. Do you have any, do you have my bookings? And then the person on the other side would be like, uh, no, because you never paid. And then, obviously, ah. Anyway, I'm going to go through, despite the fact that I don't have a booking, and we have a little restaurant slash bar area in the, uh, in the lower part of the hotel, which I think is pretty nice. Most hotels would have one of these, or larger ones anyway. Uh, we have a way to get up and down inside the hotel. All of the floors are the same, by the way, so I'm only going to show you this first one. Um, we have kind of like a little seating area, a little chill-out room to watch our TV. Uh, we can walk through here and we can get a little view of the terrace. Um, we have a little bedroom here as well, which has some of the uh, amenity amenities. The, the, the things that you would use in everyday life, um, such as crafting tables and furnaces and brewing stands. And we even have like a little bathroom area too. And all of the floors are basically the exact same as this, except uh, they're all colour coded. I'm not sure if I made them in this version. No, I did not. But in the actual proper version, like the one that I designed, um, all of the floors are the same except... Um, that would be the red floor, and then the yellow, and the green, you guys get the idea. But, the point that I was making earlier was, and a while after I made the hotel, which, all that can be, you know, made in tutorial form, I actually made uh, an amendment to the hotel, where I, uh, I added this little beauty here, where we ha kind of have like a pool and an outside bar area, which I think really does enhance it. Um, so, I, sometimes I like to just make, like, a hotel or whatever, and then just, like, add, like, an extra video to kind of, like, expand and make it a little bit bigger and cooler. And, uh, hopefully that is what I have done. I really do like that. So, I, I think that that really enhances things. I think that the hotel is pretty much complete at that point. But, yeah, that's, like, a separate video all, all together. Like, originally I just made the hotel, and then, like, six months later I, uh, I added that to it. So, um, here we have a 7-Eleven. We don't have them in here, uh, in Britain written either. Um, we don't have them in- let's start that sentence again. We don't have 7-Eleven in Britain, but basically it's a convenience store. So if you've ever watched The Simpsons, I hope, for, I, I hope that you have watched The Simpsons, I like to think of it as the Quickie Mart. It's even sort of similarly, sort of, kind of designed like that way. So we kind of have the uh, car parking spaces out the front, we a uh, place to chain your bike up, we have some bins, stuff that's kind of like on offer, some um, like boards. Um, we even have like a little kids ride and stuff because, uh, you know, that's not so outlandish to find outside uh, these places. On the inside, we kind of have like a filled little crazy interior, really. It's, it's kind of like a little bit messy inside here, but I, I kind of like it that way. Some freezers, some fresh produce, some tools, uh, drinks machines, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's, it's basically just, and of course, the, the, the doors that kind of make you feel like a Jedi. Ah, oh, I have the force. Uh, the doors are open without you even. You know, <laughs> without you doing anything. Um, yeah, that's 7-Eleven. Very cool little convenience store. Um, here we have kind of like a park. Uh, not kind of like a. It is a park. Um, this is a public park. It's pretty simple. Uh, pretty basic. Uh, it's got a fountain. It's got a duck pond. And it also has like a little playground slash play area. This is actually what I started Stream City off with. Um, as you might have noticed at the start of the video, I, I started in a, a, a tiny little park and it kind of expanded. And the reason that I've not mentioned some of the other things in this park is because they were added extras. So, like, over time I added an ice cream stand to the park, um, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, over time I added a hot dog stand to the park as well. Again, pretty cool. Uh, over time I added a candy floss, or what do you call it, cotton candy store. Uh, or cotton candy stand to the park. Uh, in addition to that, a little balloon stand as well. So, um, a lot of those little builds I kind of made um, just in the thought of kind of like adding them to a park to make a park look a little bit better. Uh, hence, uh, it kind of follows the same sort of I like to enhance builds with other builds sort of mentality. Um, here we have a Krispy Kreme Donuts. Um, Krispy Kreme in the UK 
doesn't actually have any, to my knowledge, again, brick and mortar stores. It's kind of like usually in a supermarket or perhaps like a mall or something like that. So um, I built kind of like a sort of standard modern building for Krispy Kreme. As I do love them, you guys know how I feel about food. And we have kind of like, it's basically kind of like laid out like just like a standard bakery. And um, it's really nice and cozy inside here. And it uses some materials that I don't quite often put together, which uh, I do quite actually uh, enjoy seeing. I really like the prismarine and the brick for some weird reason. I don't even know why. Uh, here we have Denny's. I'm proud to tell you that we do have a Denny's in the UK. There's only one of them. I do believe it's in Wales. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. To my knowledge, Denny's is kind of a breakfast restaurant. Uh, m maybe? I, I don't entirely... I don't know, okay? But very popular in America, hence why I made Denny's. And, uh, the, the build is, of course, inspired off an actual real design. And I actually really like the design of it as well. I think that the inside is a bit a tad bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit different than uh, some of the others as well. Um, I got a little bit tired of making the same sort of interiors all the time, so I actually started experimenting quite uh, quite a bit. And I, I think I made some pretty uh, pretty interesting, diverse looking uh, diverse looking interiors too. So we have Denny's. So a lot of that has been like you know uh, fast food and food related, more food. You guys know why. But now I made a baseball field, uh, a baseball stadium. However you want to say it. It's actually pretty cool. I really like it. So here is where you would get your tickets. You get your tickets from the guy on the inside. Uh, no one's working at the moment, so we're just going to hop the barrier. There we go. And then that would gain you access to the actual stands here. So we can sit and watch the game. Uh, we have a big giant field that is, uh, to my knowledge... About as close as a baseball field as I could make. I think it's I think it's pretty correct in its design. We have a big giant scoreboard over that side as well. We have floodlights. Um, it's a very cool build. Very cool build to Antia City. I'm very happy with it. It's the first time I actually made anything uh, anything like that. I, I definitely have to move into some other sports related builds. They have been suggested and so far ignored. I, I definitely should. <laughs> I definitely should make some like football and some stadiums and stuff. I, I really liked that build. Um, here we have Dunkin' Donuts. This is another place that we do not have in the UK, to my knowledge. This is, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. It's kind of like a little mini drive through where you can just get your coffee and your donuts. Um, kind of like a modern design, but with some older materials. The inside's quite cozy too. Um, the interior is very, very different. Um, plenty of places to get drinks and food and stuff. Um, plenty of seating as well. Very much enjoy the inside of Dunkin' Donuts. Again, cozy. Um, oh, modern fish market. So kind of like in the vein of the butchers and the bakery, a little fish market. Um, so you can buy your fish. <laughs> you can buy your red fish. <laughs> the well-known red fish. I always order it when I go to the chippy. And also the goldfish. <laughs> I love eating goldfish. And, uh, what's it? <laughs> Pale fish. Nemo. Oh, that's sick. Shark. Only nine pound. And spiky fish. We can buy all of these. This is a, a modern design little fish market. And kind of like in the vein of the budget, you can kind of like sit here and kind of like wait for all of your fish to be, um, I don't know, <laughs> uh, put together and stuff. And we kind of have like the little coolers where the <laughs> whale. <laughs> what else did I write? Cod. Orangey. <laughs> <laughs> I could never work in a zoo. Slimy fish, Dory. Nemo again. <laughs> ouch fish, that's a spiky fish. Where did I come up with these names? Anyway, you can buy ouch fish and stuff from this place. <laughs> um, and it's kind of got like the like the little frozen chillers and stuff that you can kind of like keep the fish into. Saw them and keep them. Well, cool. Now, this is kind of like a multi-parted build as well. So, I'll, I'll show you this before I show you that. This is a modern car park. It's a multi-story car park. This was a lot harder to, to design than you might imagine. It almost drove me crazy. 
So, a multi-story car park, as you guys will know, you find them most often in cities, built towns, like, you know, areas with large amounts of traffic and, you know, peaks of interest. Um, you drive in here, there's one way in, one way out, typically. You drive in here, and you park your car, you've got multiple levels, you park your car, you might need a ticket, you might have to pay, sometimes you can put bikes in here, and um, you can walk up and down to get your car off of a particular level. Typically, they'll have a lift. If you're unlucky, they will have a lot of stairs. And um, basically, what can happen... Oh, and some also um, some different kinds of spaces, too. Um, so this would be kind of like that's level one, and then we move up here, and then this is level two. Um, these are to signify that you can't go down. There is a one-way system. I put way too much effort into this, by the way. It's very kind of realistic. And basically, you can keep going up and up and up until you eventually find a car parking space, and then you can work your way down. Like, one way is up, one way is down. It, it took me so much brain power for me to figure out how much the how how difficult uh, how to actually make this work um, I I don't know why I struggled with it so much but um, basically up and up and up and up and up but there's so many levels to this I think there's like four or five levels and eventually you will reach the top with a very large car up here so it even has a completely different top up here and then as as I mentioned the way that you would get down is by going down all of these floors and stuff oh they're even labeled as well um, you'd go down all the floors you'd pay for your ticket then you'd get let out of the barrier and etc and um, eventually um, when you're finished you'd go back and you find your car and you would go like down here so you'd go down here and then you kind of like keep doing loops and loops and loops and you eventually end up um, all the way down at the bottom which if we can break in this is kind of like the actual exit and you've got a final uh, a final way to actually pay for your ticket and what does that say exit there we go and you leave the back now i don't know why i decided to go crazy and literally make that so realistic but i I really do like that build. It is ow. It is one of the probably the more boring builds. I will admit, um, adding a multi-story car park to your city is probably not something that you want to spend several hours. That is that takes hours to make. Something you don't want to spend your Sunday doing, but I certainly did, and that's why we have all of these cars. <laughs> so in the end, guys, that's why we have those cars. <laughs> Even the explanation for the multi-story car park took a long time so that I, I basically this is a separate tutorial where I, I basically we i show you how to make a load of little different cars a small car kind of like a mid-sized car sports car large car sort of like an suv um set of suvs and also motorbikes as well so that's why all of these exist uh, it's not like just like an addendum to the car park it's um basically that came before that so um Moving on, we have Toys R Us. That just burnt me out. I think I need to rest now. Um, we have Toys R Us. Rest in peace. Hopefully you come back. But classically designed, um, this is how I remember it in my memory. Except that it is missing the draft, unfortunately. Whatever his name may be. Gerald, probably. And uh, on the uh, this is what I'm quite happy with. The inside of this is very, very colourful and fun and kind of jumble sailing. I really do love the inside of Toys R Us. It's, it's really, really nice in here. It, um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's just like a nice, fun interior. I really, really enjoy it. Um, rest in peace, Toys R Us. You can still add one to your city, though, and it can live on and on and on. Moseying on down, we have Popeyes. That was a bad impression. I can't do his voice. It sounds like a, a saw blade in your throat. <laughs> anyway, we have Popeyes Chicken. Nothing to do with the old cartoon that, um, I wonder if you guys know about Popeye. That might have been a completely random experience. You guys know about Popeye? Olive? No? Google him. Okay, so this is Popeye's chicken. Um, pretty interesting building, actually. Use some more realistic materials. Very, very happy with it. We even have, like, an outdoor seating area. Um, uh, the inside is very, very colourful. It's very, very bright in here. Very vibrant as well. I really do uh, like the inside. Oh, we also sell ice cream. Uh, if you like eating snowballs, which uh, I kind of do. Anybody else do that when it snows? It doesn't snow here anymore because global warming. But um, anybody else used to eat snow? Just me? Avoid yellow snow. So, oh, yes. One of my favorites. We have a modern cinema. So... I, the reason that I love this, by the way, I love the outside of this. I love the the like the big giant bucket of popcorn, and then we kind of have like the old fashioned like 
um, film like real as well kind of like built into a nice colorful uh, modern exterior uh, but I read oh and also movie posters and stuff on the outside too um, we have a little foyer here we can get some hot dogs and popcorn we can get our tickets um, we can get some ice cream as well um, some Ben and Jerry's they have Ben and Jerry's at mine I, I don't know why um, more tickets um, we go through here we only have one screen because I mean this bill was actually big enough as it was um, you can see it here and wait for people to come out but uh, we can actually go inside as well and this is where the giant screen is and we can sit and we've got the projector and stuff really really loved this build it's, it's one of my favorite city builds that I've actually made and we even have a little fire doors too um, very very cool my modern cinema I love it look how big it is imagine how much bigger it would be if there were more screens the reason I'm mentioning about the screens is because I when I made it people were like oh it needs more screens then it would need to be so much bigger so much bigger but very very happy with it oh no rest in peace uh, kind of goes the way of Toys R Us, although there is one difference, Blockbuster, you guys know Blockbuster, right? Hopefully, it is, it is extinct now, almost, on the verge of extinction, there is one in America, it might be Con Kentucky, maybe, I'm not sure, it, somewhere I believe in the American South we have one final Blockbuster, this used to be, when I was a kid, one of my favourite places to go, you could rent movies, games, get popcorn, sweets, chocolate, Things that would keep you up at night, you would be able to get from Blockbuster. Keep you up at night in a good way. Uh, you'd be able to even get toys and stuff. This was just a great, wondrous place for you to rent and buy movies and games and stuff. Uh, because, well, it, it used to be very, very expensive, or at least it was for my family anyway. So, uh, Blockbuster, great place, great place. Very nostalgic. Um, th that's why the build is... It, the build's a little bit modern, but um, hopefully it's, uh, you know... It's it's a nice little landmark to put in a city, kind of like Toys R Us. It might be gone, but never forgotten. Um, here we have this is just a townhouse. Um, I actually use this a lot in Stream City. I built loads and loads of these. Um, the townhouse is basically a house in such that um, the townhouse has it is is very very tall but not very wide. So you kind of have just like one particular function for each floor. This the inside of this isn't done, but like this would be the living room floor. This would be the kitchen floor. This would be the bedroom floor. The bathroom floor. Um, townhouses are meant to be built tall, not wide. So um, perfect for cities. Perfect. Oh, and also they're repeatable. So you can put these next to each other and they look really really good. You can make them all out of all sorts of different colors and materials. And you can just really, really make these things your own. And they're a great way to populate a city street. Um, because, you know, in cities, you, you've got to, you kind of got to build high rather than wide. You can't take up too much room because it's so expensive. And, uh, oh, and it's also got a little basement too, which uh, is built into the tutorial, which I really, really like. I'd recommend look watching the actual proper video because uh, I've decorated all the floors in the proper video. Um, I haven't done it on this version for some reason. Um, yeah. Uh, it's actually really, really cool once it's all completely decorated. Now, this is a modern apartment building. It's actually kind of a fancy one as well because it's um, it's got kind of like a lobby. And uh, in the lobby, you can kind of like sit around and chill out. You can collect your mail. You'll perhaps get a spare key if you, uh, you know, if you've lost your somehow and all the floors are pretty much similar but we kind of have like a little uh, chill out space read watch tally we can uh, have a look uh, off of our balcony um we have like a little bedroom area we even have like a little bathroom as well and i'll show you how to make all of that um very very cool little modern apartment building very easy to make as well great addition to your cities here we have the first supermarket that i made for stream city that actually isn't in it yet kmart Weird choice, I know. Uh, I could have built Target, I could have built Walmart, I built Kmart. Um, big giant car park outside that can be extended. Um, we have some ATM machines where you can get some cash to go inside. We have some vending machines as well, some posters and advertisements. Um, we even have, yes, we have a lorry. It gave me a good excuse to make a lorry or a truck. Um, we even have like a little loading depot as well, which is actually quite important because if we go inside, what we have the special Jedi doors. Ooh, the force is with me. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I, I made it. Um, here we have we have like a, a place to uh, for our trolleys or 
what do you guys call them? Shopping carts, shopping carts, trolleys, a little uh, electronic section. We have a place for like clothes. We have loads and loads and loads of shelves. We have uh, we have ourselves um, an actual like till areas where you would buy uh, buy your stuff at the end. I hope uh, we have some fridges and freezers, and we even have access to kind of like the loading bay as well so this is where the truck would actually this is kind of like the stock room where all of all of that was originally in there so very very cool build um big build takes a while but definitely worth it it's uh, it's probably the most realistic supermarket that i've ever made um if you want to call it that um here we have oh my bank great excellent so this is bank uh, simple design classic design looks great i think um, we have the front of the bank here. We kind of, we have a vault because I oh don't know. There's something that I, I like the idea of having like a visible vault in our bank. Um, we have an ATM. We have a little seating area. This is where you can you know hook. How, can I have my money, please? And then the person on the other side here would go, uh, "You got none. I'm sorry." And then I would walk off to press out the door. Um, this is also like a place for some of the other workers to work as well. Perhaps if somebody needs more uh, more help, additional help or what have you. You know, this is kind of more like a staff area. We even have access to uh, the vault, which is kind of like also like a little lock box slash uh, safety deposit box where you can actually, I think, you can actually crack into the shulkers. Ah, there we go. So you can actually store stuff in there if you want to. Uh, just a cool little bank. I really, really like the interior of this one very, very much. Um, oh, we also have a little security van as well um, for the bank. Um, kind of just like a, you know, just just a security van. Um, kind of like an armored vehicle. Uh, it's got like a little, uh, a little camera on top as well. And this is, uh, oh, here we go, yeah. Um... We, we basically have, you know, this is where the money would be transported from and kept in and stuff. So, little armoured vehicle, the ones that you uh, usually have a police escort, I do believe. So, you probably want to avoid that. Here we have a high school, or just kind of like a huge school. Uh, as you can tell, uh, we have a bus. Um, this is kind of like a little school bus that kind of goes with the build. It's got loads of seats on there and stuff. Um... We even have outside of the school, out of the back, we have like a, a little place. We have kind of like a, a basketball hoop. We have um, we have a little football area. We have a little place to eat lunch. But the school is actually, hopefully, semi-realistic, um, sort of. I mean, it's missing a couple of things, but this uh, this is what I imagine like a large sort of American style school to be like. We've got some cameras up there, loads and loads of lockers so that you can keep all your stuff in there. Um, we have exits slash entrances all over the place. We have individual classrooms as well. So this is, oh, this is um, an assembly hall for... Um, you know, well, assemblies, um, we have, oh, this is one of the classrooms, I think this is kind of like a general classroom, um, we have, what else do we have, we have, do we have a science lab? Yeah, this is more like a science orientated classroom, some Bunsen burners and stuff like that. We also have, oh, a, a computer class, so, or a class more so, you know, a more, a more technological class, I would say, I don't know if you guys still have, like, computer labs and stuff, um, it used to be a big deal. Don't think it is anymore. Um, we also have some different, uh, different. One oh, we have the cafeteria as well. So just like a big room to eat in. You guys can see. You guys know what a cafeteria is. I'm sure. I don't know why I just described what a cafeteria was to you. Um, some more lockers. Oh, we have also the staff room as well. So this is the teachers' lounge. It's got all sorts of cool stuff in here. Uh, there's no different styles of classroom up here. Um, we do have also kind of like the principal's office, so this is where you would wait, and then this is where the head teacher or principal would be in his big giant office. Um, and then that, that's pretty much it, and that- Oh, no! No, there's also a library! Yeah! There's also a library as well, so this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a more old-fashioned one. There's no computers or anything up here. Kind of like a chilled-out library. Um, so, yeah, there's there's quite a few different um, variations in class. And and then everything, I don't think that we've... No, we've not even filled them in because um, there's there's no variation in classrooms. It's basically those three classrooms repeated with the... Um, with then, like, the cafeteria and assembly hall and stuff. So, um, yeah, very, very cool. Very, uh, very simple to build, actually. Looks great. It's kind of huge. Very, very happy with that, though. 
very, very happy. Oh, here we have a police station. This is my modern police station, and you guys know how I love extras. The modern police station comes with a police bike. It comes with a police car. It's more of American style, of course. Um, it comes with a riot van. It also comes with a police helicopter. Um, those are all garages, by the way. This is where the vehicles are kept. Um, so kind of like a modern fuel police station. We have kind of like the... Uh, this is sort of like the lobby. So if you've got any inquiries or if you're unfortunately being taken here... <laughs> Um, this is where uh, your first stop would be, and by the way, you just have access to the garage. Um, if you were building this, of course, you'd add some police cars and vehicles and stuff inside there too. Um, we have access to the little jail area, so if you've got to be held overnight or whatever might happen. Um, I've never, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never been inside of a police station, thank goodness. They've never caught me yet, so <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, th but basically, like little jail cells for you know whatever might happen, and kind of like a little guard area too. Um, we also have like an upstairs, which is more of an office space up here. Um, so upstairs, we kind of have like a little office space. Um, we have an, in an interrogation room. We have also kind of like a processing room as well, where you would get your lovely picture taken, very similar to school picture day, except. Um, illegal uh we also have the captain's office as well so this is kind of like the you know the main guy the big boss that's where he resides and we also have access to the roof for the helicopter as well there should be a helipad up here i don't know why there isn't um but yeah modern police station very very happy with that um oh here we have a nike store uh, modern designed hopefully rather realistic looking very very happy with the nike store i love how that looks um, if we take a look at the inside, we've kind of got some displays for some clothes, um, shoes, more clothes, that's where you would pay, some hats, just very, uh, just hopefully, a pretty nicely laid out Nike store, very, very modern. Um, here we have, oh, an Apple store. Apple stores are kind of hard to build in Minecraft and make look good, or at least that's the experience that I've had, so... Um, there's not usually too much going on inside of an Apple store. It's basically usually just like very, very, very glass, very glass modern looking building um, with just some tables and kind of like what's what's on offer. Um, that's kind of like uh, what we have here as well. Um, so that is where you would uh, get some help that, you know, we just it, hopefully some of these just look like like cases and accessories that you can buy for your phones and stuff. Um, laptops, iPads, hopefully. Um, you know, get very, very hard to build, but hopefully hopefully you guys do uh, like how that looks. I'm pretty happy with the Apple Store. And of course, very hard to make the Apple logo as well. That's supposed to be the Apple with the bite taken out of it. Um, in the similar Nike... Uh, <laughs> in a similar vein to Nike... Uh, we have Adidas, or Adidas, as it is sometimes known elsewhere. Um, similar sort of concept for the store, except, um, you know, laid out a little bit differently here. Um, we have, you know, the, the same sorts of things, pretty much like uh, clothes racks, a place to buy them, um, the logo kind of dispersed, more stands, more shoes, more clothes, more hats. Um, very, very parallel to Nike. Um, yeah, pretty cool looking store. Uh, if you're looking to add just random stores up and down your high streets, definitely consider. Uh, this is just kind of like a general drink store. This is where you would uh, come and get a soda or a slushy or something like that, you know? That's that. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, pretty cool. It's, of course, uh, <laughs> inspired by just basically a big giant cup. Um, here we have... Oh, here we have... Uh, Kind of like relating to the police station, we have a fire station. This is kind of like a remix of the old version of my fire station that I made. Very, very much enjoy this. So, uh, the only two vehicles that the fire station has is, of course, we have the fire engine or the fire truck. And we also have the fire and rescue helicopter as well. And we do have a helipad this time. Um, we have some garages, but we can see that in a little bit. So, when it comes to the, uh, the fire station... Um, of course, we have kind of like these sort of reception area slash office area. Um, we have access to the actual garage as well. So we have another fire truck in here. We have some equipment. Um, we have the fireman's pole, which uh, or fire people pole, whatever you want to call it. Um, we have a kind of like a lounge for the firefighters. 
Um, we even have a little gym as well, kind of like a little basic gym and exercise area. Got to stay fit and healthy. We have a place to kind of like suit up and get ready, gear up. We have access to the roof as well, but as well, we do have access to that fire, fire pole that I mentioned earlier. So pretty cool. Very, very cool to add to a city. Stream City has this and uh, it has never looked better. Uh, here we have, oh, the bowling alley, classic. Again, kind of like a remix on the older version of a bowling alley that I made just uh, bigger, better, more modern. Um, the inside I'm very, very happy with. So um, this is the interior, kind of have like this. I always call these things the airlock. You know, like when you go through like a door and then there's kind of like, it's, it's just like an area that seems to serve no purpose except for it's, it's just like a, a break between like the entrance and the actual inside. That's what this is. And this is where you would like pay for your shoes and uh, like pay for the lane. And this is where you would actually get your shoes. There's a little restaurant inside of here so you can have some food and some drinks. There's a little arcade in here too, some claw machines, air hockey. We have some uh, actual like arcade, uh, arcade machines as well. Um, we have, these are all bowling balls, this is where you would get them, this is where you would sit and chill out. Um, those are the screens that record the score, these are all the lanes. I used end rods to kind of sort of look like pins, and this is also like advertisement slash sometimes, that's also, um, also like uh, the score as well. Very, very happy with this, very, very cool. Um, that's the bowling alley. Great build, I love that. So simple, that, there's something about the simplicity of the bowling alley that I really love. Oh, uh, here we have Chili's. So Chili's is a restaurant. I don't think that it has a drive through No, it doesn't. Just an American food restaurant. Um, inside Chili's, it's a little bit different as well. Kind of, it's very chilled out in Chili's. So here we have some just seating and we have some lights and a place to get food. It's very, very simple inside here, but it's one of those places that's uh, just nice and cozy. So if you're in the mood for some Chili's, you guys know what to do. Um, here we have, ha ha, Town Hall. I don't know where that laugh came from. I wasn't expecting to see it. I thought it was actually further down the line. Um, so this is a town hall. This is where you would have meetings. This is where um, the mayor would be. Um, inside the town hall, we, of course, have a giant hall. This is this is where the meetings would take place um, for all sorts of different reasons. Um, we have a little seating area out here. We have a little reception area. Perhaps this is where you could get some of your um, lesser important inquiries taken care of. But we also have um, a little mayor's office as well, just back here too. So... Um, Pretty cool town hall. Every town or city should probably have one. Basically, it's usually, in my experience, it's kind of like a big sort of old-fashioned building with a clock on it. That's uh, that's kind of how uh, one usually defines a town hall, or at least that's the way that I define it. Um, here we have Five Guys Burgers and Fries. This is oh also not a, uh, a drive-through, so kind of like a classic design to the build. Very, very different, again, from all of the other fast food-related builds. We can walk in here, and yeah, I love this interior. It's so simple. Um, I, I went for the simplicity for this. Now, we actually do have some Five Guys um, in the UK, and I've, I, I have been to one, and um, it's really, really nice. And what I enjoyed about the interior of it was the simple design of it. Very, very simple. So that's what I tried to do here. Um, I am lacking the bags of peanuts, actually, that were kind of just, like, left around. They weren't peanuts, actually. I think they were monkey nuts? Um, I can't remember. The, the things that you crack, maybe they are peanuts. Huh. Anyway, the big bags of whatever they're supposed to be, some kind of nuts. Um, here we have a laundrette, a laundry shop, a dry cleaners. I, I, I thought that this was really cool, by the way. Again, tooting my own horn as I do. Um, kind of like a, a washing machine, kind of like built into the sign. Um, this is where one would uh, get their laundry done in kind of like a city if you don't uh, own the appliances. So you can get your stuff washed and dried. Um, we have coin machines if need be. You can have stuff uh, specifically dry cleaned. Uh, can't really say anything else about it. It's, it's an interesting build to add to your cities. It's something that you might not have thought of. Um, oh, here we, this is a chemist or a... Uh, actually, what is funny, and I'm not going to say the words um, because I, I, it actually got the actual tutorial demonetized. Um, a chemist, also known as uh, a DU. 
D-R-U-G store in America. Some reason got me uh, <laughs> got me demonetized for including that in the in the description. Just another name for like a chemist or a pharmacy or a D-U-R D. -U -R -D <laughs> can't even spell D-U D-R-U-G store. I don't even want to say it because YouTube's crazy. Um, uh, basically, just a place where you, uh, one might go and get medicine, um, helpful pills, things that would cure your ailments. You know, that sort of place. Uh, and that's all it is, just a pharmacy or a chemist. Very, very harmless store, YouTube. No reason to have uh, demonetized the tutorial for this place. Especially when I thought it was quite nicely uh, nicely designed, too. Um, <laughs> my lack of spelling. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. But yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Um, yeah, chemist, pharmacy, very cool. Uh, just don't call it what I called it, otherwise apparently YouTube gets very unhappy with you. Um, this is a kind of just like a, it's, it's just like a, a modern sort of skyscraper. Uh, if you want some buildings for your city, which I certainly do, many cities just have kind of like nondescript, big, giant, tall, modern buildings that some, some serve some sort of purpose. You can use this as kind of like a little hotel if you wanted to, uh, an office building, um, any sort of build, it's, it's basically a nondescript, good-looking modern build that is repeatable, so you can make it as tall as you like, and it's just good to add to your city, uh, is the basic purpose of that. Um, here we have a Target. So this is, of course, a supermarket. This is a, an American-based supermarket. Um, I really, really like this. It's kind of, It's got a completely different look and feel to uh, Kmart. We have a big giant car parking area. We have a place to get our shopping carts. I don't think it's got a loading dock at the back. No, it hasn't, but it does have an exit. Um, we have on the inside. It's kind of, it's such a simple and great. I love this layout. Oh, we also have a photo booth as well. I completely forgot about this. This is a photo booth that um, uh, you can add to some of your cities. Um, this is actually a separate tutorial. Uh, I made this completely independent of Target, but I thought it actually it fit in quite nicely here. Um, this is where you'd get like a, a photo taken for if you needed a passport sometimes or uh, official identification. It's just a, a fun little build to add. But we have a produce section, we have some like fri fridge sections, we have some freezers. Um, and just basically just uh, just some aisles that would sell stuff. Um, obviously nothing's labeled and we just have like a, a place to pay for it. Very, very simple build. Very, very clean. Very, very easy to make. Um, that's what I love about it. Uh, very, very cool. So it's, it's a little bit opposite to Kmart in that the detail uh, is not it's not as detailed, but I think it looks better. I really love the interior to Target. Oh, yes. The bus station. So, we have a big giant modern bus station. Uh, the bus station has, uh, this is where you would actually board your bus. These are, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, the bays that you would actually board the buses on. Um, we have uh, plenty of car parking spaces for additional buses, or you could even use that for actual personal parking. Um, the bus station has two individual entrances or exits, however you want to see it. You can buy tickets individually, um, you can sit and wait. Um, the inside of the bus station is pretty cool. We have uh, seating areas. We have a little bathroom here as well. Very, very colorful hand dryers on the wall and stuff like that. Um, we have a place where you might need to get some help, some scheduling. You can book tickets, perhaps for some longer journeys and stuff. Oh, <laughs> we have a vending machine. This is also a separate build. I forgot that I added this. Uh, a vending machine inside here as well that you can add to, uh, to your bus station or builds in general. And um, we even have like a little coffee shop as well. Well at the end. Um, very, very cool. Love this build. It's multifaceted. It's like six videos that all go together. We've got like the outside, the interior, and then all of the different buses. And um, this is kind of like a, a British double-decker bus. Um, although you can't actually get up onto the second level of it, but um, this is, you know, this is how Minecraft works. Um, we have uh, we have a kind of like a city bus. So this is just kind of like a just a one-story bus. Um, that's where the drive would sit, and we have like those handrails. So if you can't sit, you can stand and you grab onto the handrail. Some advertisement. This is a tour bus, which you can actually get up onto the second story of. Um, second story bus is such a better name. I love the s double decker. No, no, second story buses. Um, 
<laughs> the apartment building of buses. So this is where the driver would sit. Uh, this is where some of the passengers would sit on the first floor. And then uh, this is where you would sit on the second floor. So this is basically more like a tour bus sort of. Um, if you were checking out a city, these are great to go on and you can kind of get uh, you, the feel of the surroundings from them. Oh, uh, here, it, this is just kind of like a, a coach. Um, so if you were going on a long trip, Americans might call them greyhounds. You know, like if you were doing like a long, uh, a bus journey, a long one, going a far distance, this is what uh, you might uh, you might have been on. Uh, if you've ever been on a school trip, you've probably been on one of these, probably. Um, yeah, just like uh, an everyday sort of uh, coach. Uh, that's the bus station, very, very cool build. Um, oh, so like seven builds. We have a bus stop as well. So this is what you would add to your city. Um, a bit of seating, some cover, um, maybe even buy a ticket preemptively. And of course, um, where, where your actual uh, buses are going on that sign. Here we have a barber shop, so this is one where one might get a haircut. Um, this actually blends in really nicely to both a modern city, I think, and also kind of like a more classic brick terracotta city. Um, I, I, this build is pretty much, it is, it is what it is. Um, I love the interior of this. I feel as though it's very, very classically designed. We've got mirrors using banners. We've got different hairstyles you can try out. Also using paintings, um, sinks, uh, chairs. We've even got a telly, um, magazines, place to put your coat. I love this. I really love the barbershop. I, I'd highly recommend it. Um, very, very cool build. Here we have, if you are from the UK... I don't know if these have branched out. This is basically, uh, you will see these all the time. This is Costa Coffee. Um, I think we even have a little drive through Yeah, you can you can order your coffees. Marco, my personal favorite, latte or tea. Actually, you like uh, Tai Chi lattes are probably the best if, uh, if you guys want to send me coffee through the post. Uh, <laughs> I, that, that seems like such a bad idea, doesn't it? <laughs> Sending somebody food through the post or drinks through the post. Really, uh, really trying to avoid, avoid any, uh, I'm going to move on from that because that's such a horrible idea. So this is, it was also a joke. Um, this is kind of like a drive through window where you can just get your coffee and food. Um, kind of like a modern design building, kind of got a little seating area out the, out the front. This is uh, a little uh, advertisement sign, some glass doors, a little seating area on the inside. We have kind of like a, a fridge area where you can get some snacks. Um, kind of just like some decoration here. Um, coffee machine on the back wall, some cakes, um, access to the drive through window. Pretty cool build. Um, you'll definitely want one of these if you're from the UK. You will definitely have one of these probably quite close to you. I think that there's like five in my town. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, here we have, this is a lesser known, more interesting build, but I got loads of requests for this. I'm very, very happy with it. The Cat Cafe. Um, Sometimes, <laughs> I didn't know that there was a cat flap on this door. Mittens is trying to make an escape. I don't want to open the door now. I'm not going to let you out. So um, there exists such a thing known as cat cafes, and basically it's a regular cafe, but um, with cat... Oh, no. Mitten! Ah, oh, fine. Um, except um, they're kind of like centered around kind of like chilling out with a load of cats. And um, the place is kind of like designed for the cats to kind of like have fun. We have like beds, climbing areas, toys for the cats. And um, that's basically all this is. But you can like sit and drink and you can buy the cats like snacks and stuff. Hence the fish. And um, basically you just sit and drink and enjoy watching a load of cats play and, you know, interact with them. It's, it's kind of like a fun... Just like a fun little thing. it's uh, I've never been to one, but I think it'd be really, really cool. I think that uh, also, I, I think we have a pug cafe that's uh, kind of like near us too. Like there's pug cafes. And I know that there's um, there's like rabbit cafes and stuff. So uh, just basically just like an interesting idea. Mittens. You want to go back in, don't you? You're never happy. You're never happy. That's the problem with cat. You light them out and then two seconds later, you get the... I want back in. Nightmare. Okay, so this is a supermarket, but it's it's not a branded supermarket. So if you aren't really interested in making particular, um, you know, if you're not interested in making Target or Walmart or Tesco, as whatever it might be, this is just a a just a nice modern supermarket. Um, here we have some uh, shopping carts, a little bit of greenery. Um, we have a nice modern 
colourful design, and the interior is my favourite out of all of them. I, I got a little produce set, a little bakery section, um, place to buy some flowers, uh, a little produce section, some fridge slash freezers, and um, just bookshelves um, for actual aisles. And here we have basically it is just a place to buy your stuff. Basically, I really love the inside. Of this it, again, it's so simple. It's, it just looks so great to me. I, I really, really love it. And the whole thing, I, there's something about it. I, it's probably, it's one of my favorite city builds that I've designed and made. It's, uh, especially since it's an original as well. It's not based on any particular supermarket. Um, here we have IHOP. IHOP is, I believe, an American breakfast restaurant. So um, this is actually also based on the old version of my IHOP, which is w way too big, like literally like three times the size of this. Um, you wouldn't want it in a city. Um, just, a, just a place to basically just eat, eat food and leave. Um, this is where you would pay. This is where the uh, servers, you know, hang out a little bit. Um, that's where you sit. Um, some condiment uh, condiments that you can use. Some, you know, ketchup, mustard, sugar. Uh, another place, a little seating area, sort of like a breakfast bar area. This is where the food is prepared. Like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, basically, that's just it. Very, very simple little build. Really, really love it though. Um, kind of reminds me, the door sort of looks like it's got a mustache somehow. Um, here we have, oh, post office. This is a modern post office. This is a multifaceted build as well. So this is kind of like the uh, the modern building. It even has like a little garage so that um, the post vans and stuff can actually be stored inside there. We have a little post, uh, post box as well. It's got pickup times. Um, on the inside, you know, the post office uh, obviously serves multiple purposes. The post office does so many things that I did not realize. Um, so... <laughs> Like and subscribe. Um, the, the This is basically just a wall to show you like the different kind of parcels and stuff that you can send off. This is where you would obviously get the help from the people that actually work here. This is where the people who work here actually kind of like, you know, work. Um, this is kind of like a, uh, a little bit of a garage area. This is where the parcels are handled, uh, kind of like a little depot. And outside, of course, we have two builds. So this is kind of like a postman pat. <laughs> a postman pat, uh, a, a mail van, um, basically just got like posts and stuff in the back, parcels, packages, letters, all of that stuff. It's got royal mail on the side, it's even got a little crown because that's obviously like our main courier, I guess, as you might say, in England. We have a royal mail lorry as well, but that could just be a regular re mail lorry. It's kind of like an interesting design uh, as opposed to uh, some of the more shapely lorries that I've made. Um, all of those can be made together. I, As you guys know, I love making builds like this. Uh, you know, I, I love making builds that have more than one part, so. Um, oh, speaking of builds that have more than one part, car dealership. Love this. Again, what, probably one of my top 10 city builds. And also, for some reason, I really like stuff that's more original than, like, I love making, like, IHOPs and, like, McDonald's and stuff, but uh, when when it's original, there's something about it, I just like it a little bit more. Um, car dealership. I, I really love the design of it. Modern realistic um on the inside we have kind of like this is where you would deal with the car salesman um car sales people whatever this is where you get the coffee uh, your coffee kind of like sit down chill out go over the deal that they've been offering you um you can check out some of the cars in the showrooms perhaps some of the pricey cars so like the suvs or four by fours the sports cars um very really like the design of the roof and stuff um uh, outside, of course, we've got like loads and loads of cars on offer. We've not just got those ones over there, but we've got we kind of got like a whole slew of cars back here as well. And something that I really, really like about this build as well is the vehicle, the specialty vehicle that goes with it. This, the car transportation truck. I love this thing. Um, so how do cars get places without driving? They get driven, of course. This is the taxi for cars. Um... <laughs> Uh, car transportation vehicle, whatever you'd call it, has all the cars on the back. It has uh, like two levels, and um, obviously, like this is supposed to move, and like uh, that will take. Like y you guys know how these things work. I just thought it was kind of like a cool build for the city. So not only does it have to be used in conjunction with the car dealer, like this would be cool just to have like on your streets, uh, kind of like dust around the place. Now these are the two builds that don't yet 
have tutorials on the channel. I've, I've made the tutorials, but I've not posted them yet, so you guys will see these um, soonish. This is a coffee stand. Very, very happy with this, by the way. This is where you you just have these on perhaps like a street corner or maybe like outside of a stadium, perhaps a, a packed out place. Uh, you might have one of these kind of like in the car park, or perhaps in a park. And um, this is where you just buy a coffee. It's just a coffee stand. Um, you can sit and drink and enjoy it. And, uh, you know, you'd store your coffee, perhaps a snack. Um, just a simple little coffee stand. Um, here we have a hot dog truck. Um, again, this also doesn't yet have a tutorial, but it probably will um, soon after this is posted um, because they are they are uploaded. I just have to find a good time to post them. Um, this is a hot dog stand, uh, a hot dog truck. So you'd order your hot dog, even how it comes with a little banner, and um, you just get it from the truck. It's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> that, that's all there is to it, actually. It's a hot dog truck that sells hot dogs. And uh, coming up on two, two of the last builds, um, Jump World. Jump World is a trampoline park. It's a modern build that's really colourful that will look insane in your city. And the best part about it is the interior. The interior is insane. So this is where you would get your special trampoline socks. This is where you'd put your stuff away in the lockers. And this is the trampoline park. With all the trampolines, all the fun stuff that comes with it, the ball pits, the foam pits that you can jump into, the, the bouncy basketball, um, the, the, the just like the fun little obstacle courses that you can do. Very, very fun. Uh, everything works as well. That's part of the fun about it is uh, you actually do bounce on all of this stuff. It's, it's really, really fun. Um, this is the most recently uploaded city build to the channel. I... Uh, this actually got uploaded over Christmas. I do hope that you guys enjoyed that one. If uh, if you have already seen that, really, really fun build to add. I love Jump World, the trampoline park. And this one kind of came out of nowhere. This is a honey farm shop. Um, this is technically not really even a city build. So, um, there are bees in the honey mobile. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway... <laughs> I'll explain the Honeymobile in a moment. Uh, this is basically kind of like a little farm shop that you would find on the edge of a city, in the more rural parts of your city. The parts aren't, that aren't so built up by, you know, big giant buildings and stuff. This is more countryside, but I, I thought that it was a pretty valid build to add to uh, kind of like a cityscape. So, um, this is where you would keep your bees. It's just a small little farm shop, honey farm. Um, we have uh, just... You know, just some regular sort of stuff that you'd expect to find. You know, sell honey in here, honeycomb. Um, this is uh, kind of like a little ex exhibition of how everything's supposed to work. Just like barrels of honey. And of course, this is uh, the little farm where they're taken care of. And this is the Honeymobile. Get it? The ho Honeymobile? I don't know how he got in there. I'm, I'm got Two of them. I don't know how they got in there, to be 100% honest. And I'm pretty sad that this guy's left out. Uh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, this is uh, the Honey Mobile. I'll actually show you how to make absolutely all of this: the car park, the actual build, everything all together. Uh, it's just a fun little build, especially since bees were added to Bedrock. Thank goodness. Uh, I didn't expect them to be. So, ha, expect them to be. Ah. Wow, that was a long video. That um. Oh boy, my voice hurts. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first video of the new year. I've actually not recorded in a little while. Uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tour. Uh, I need to rest my larynx. Is, is, is that part of the human throat? I don't even know. All I know is that I need to take an ice pack and apply it directly to my neck. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do let me know by hitting that like button and please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you love city builds, there are going to be so many more of them this upcoming year, so many more, it is going to be fantastic. The best way to keep up to date with them and the channel, subscribe, click that little bell next to the subscription button, that'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. If you do want to make any and all of those city builds that we just saw, that is absolutely every single one of them, there is no more until I make more. Card system, description below, top of the comment section, you guys know what to do. Go wild in the playlist. You won't regret it. There's so much to see, ladies and gentlemen. You will love it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm going to go and get that ice pack now. I do love you all very, very much. And Stream City will return this year. Sooner rather than later. Just as soon as I do get that McDonald's. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.